Hey guys, Dr. Barr here, a bariatric surgeon in Dallas, Texas, and this is part two of the four types of bariatric surgery. Be sure to watch part one if you haven't yet for more information on the band and the sleeve. Now let's talk about the Ruin Y gastric bypass. It has about a 10% more excess weight loss than a sleeve, but on the other hand, it's a little bit higher risk long-term. In this surgery, we create a pouch out of the top of the stomach about the size of an egg. Then we bring up the small intestine and connect it to the stomach, bypassing all the intestines in between. We then make a new connection for all the digestive enzymes from your biliary system to meet back up with your food down the line. Because of this, you aren't absorbing calories in the part that we're bypassing, but you also aren't absorbing vitamins or protein. That means it's very important to stay on a high protein diet and take your vitamins to avoid any issues. Also, the connection between the stomach and the intestine right here is very sensitive to changes in blood flow. So this is not a surgery for smokers or people that take ibuprofen since both of those decrease the blood flow to that area. Now, finally, we have the duodenal switch. This is the most complex option that simply put involves creating a sleeve at the top and a bypass at the bottom. Once we've completed the sleeve, we keep the muscle at the end of the stomach intact and connect the bypass portion to the first part of the intestine there called the duodenum. Because of this, we can bypass much more of the intestine than in a traditional Ruin Y gastric bypass leading to about 30% more excess body weight loss. But as you can also predict, more intestinal bypass means even more risk of vitamin deficiencies if you don't take your vitamins. So while it's a super effective procedure, you have to be very consistent lifelong with your vitamins in order to avoid complications long-term. Be sure to talk to your surgeon about what surgery is right for you. And if you have any more questions about the differences, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you.